Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, I'm Bill. We're going to be in the basic fantasy book for this video. Uh, we are going to do character advancements. We're going to go over how that is and how this monster hit dice XP table is uh, explained as well. So, experience points. Experience points are given for monsters defeated and for other challenges as the GM sees fits. The following table provides XP values for monsters. Where a monster has both a character level and hit dice given, use the larger value as the monster's level. Non-combat challenges may be assigned a level, or a flat XP value assigned, as the GM wishes. If asterisks appear after the hit dice listing for a monster, each asterisk adds the special ability bonus once. For example, a creature with a hit dice figure of 2 with 2 asterisks is worth 125 experience. So it had 2 hit dice on the table here, so it's worth 75 normally. And then for its special ability, uh, it gets an extra 25 XP, and it has 2 of those, so it ended up with an extra 50. Okay, that makes sense. For monsters with more than 25 hit dice, add 750 XP to the XP value and 25 XP to the special ability bonus per additional hit dice. So that's going beyond the scope of the table here, and that's how you would progress that further. NPCs should be treated as monsters of a number of hit dice equivalent to the character's level. Add special ability bonus for clerics and magic users if they are able to cast useful spells during the encounter. After tallying the XP earned in a given adventure, the amount should be divided by the number of adventurers, as described above. Each retainer should receive one half share, so a group with four player characters and a retainer is counted as having four and a half members. If 2,000 XP is earned by the group, one share is 444 XP, and the retainer receives 222 XP. No character may advance more than one level due to the experience points from a single adventure. For example, Barthol, the thief, is first level and has 1,000 XP before going on an adventure. During the adventure, he earns 2,000 more experience points. An amazing feat. This would make him total 3000 XP and he would be third level thief. This is not allowed. Instead, he advances to 2499 XP, one short of the amount required for third level, and starts his next adventure at second level. So, if I remember correctly, you can only level. I'll need to read further somewhere else in here or try to locate it. Or if you know, put it in the comments below. I believe the way this one's set up is you can only level when you're in safety outside of the uh, dungeon or the adventure. So when you're back to town. If that's the case, then while you're on the adventure, if you get too much experience points, you can't just level twice when you come back to town. That's what it's trying to say. You need to spend some time, even if it, you're just one XP short, you need to spend some time at that level before you can level again. Which, as long as everyone's aware of that, then it's a cool aspect. But if you have other notions from playing uh, Dungeons and Dragons and stuff, where people would just let you level when you reach all the experience you needed to gain the level, then this would throw a curveball at you. So, just be aware of that. Well, until we all game again, guys.